Hello and uh, welcome my dear friends, welcome to another interesting unboxing. I have here a quite large box, I am expecting a small item, a very nice uh, desk item and um, you will see what I mean. So I have here my knife, okay my small leg we call knife. And uh, let's see how I can um, open uh, this box. Probably I won't need it anymore, so I can uh, break it from here. Yes, I think I will make a cut right over here. Okay, let me break it like this. And like this. Lots of uh, wrapping paper as you can see. And now let me cut it here. Okay, and here. So I will uh, just take out the paper. This is wrapping paper, yes. And I think that, yes, this is the actual item. Nothing, nothing in uh, the box. Always check the box because sometimes the sellers include bonus stuff and you can um, miss them. Okay, so this is the box. And in today's episode, I have a lovely, lovely item. I was searching for this item for quite um, some time and um, if you are patient enough you can um, wait and uh, always you can find that item <laughs> at a good price. So uh, let me show you first the item and then we will uh, I will tell you what I pay for it, including the shipping cost, and I will uh, show it to you in detail. And of course, probably you can guess, it is a lovely, lovely uh, ink um, stand in a form of a dog's head. But it is a very, very lovely item, my friends. I will uh, show it to you in detail. Very, very nice details on this one. Um, it has a little bit of... Um... Okay, first, let me tell you what I paid for it. Because I got it for only 63 lays, including the shipping cost. Or the equivalent of 12.68 euros. Or 13.82 US dollars and it is a very very nice piece indeed yes I want to zoom on it no name of the maker and it probably had also uh, some type of uh, head here that covered uh, this uh, no uh, you can see no distinction here but I think it had um, like an hermetic seal to hold this ink. But look at the amazing details on this one. Uh, it has a little bit of a flaw here, but I don't think it um, affects the reservoir over here. I hope you can see the reservoir. Yes, it's quite dark there. Let me see if I can show it in this lighting. Yes. You can see. Uh, quite nice um, capacity of ink. But I did not get it for the capacity of ink. Because I have a smaller uh, uh, and probably more practical crystal ones. Like uh, this one over here, desk stands here, one, and uh, another one over there, you can see, just there. 
This is more practical because you can see the level of uh, ink. In this one, no, but um, uh, it has different uses. Of course, uh, not meant for fountain pens, more for deep pens, but also you can use it when your uh, reservoir of the fountain pen goes uh, uh, out. Uh, of course, on your desk you can hold uh, even more practical this bottle, like I have this Mont Blanc Royal uh, bottle. But look, what is more amazing in this picture? The my favorite is this one because it has all the details, and um, I simply like the miniatures. Of course, this is very very elegant, and even this, uh, I like the shape of and the practicality of the design of the Mont Blanc ink uh, bottle. So this was uh, my unboxing, my friends. Tell me what you do you think about uh, my latest purchase do you think i got a nice deal um i, I was searching for a dog's head and i know they were very popular in the 1920s and in the 1930s uh, because also in that period uh, there was uh, the deep pan and also the fountain pen, probably the golden days of the fountain pen, but still some person uh, used uh, deep pens uh, because they were more, um, I believe, more flexible than uh, the nibs of the, of the fountain pens. And of course, the deep pens were more, let's say, more affordable than a fountain pen with a gold nib. So this was it, my friends. I'm curious, uh, tell me if you have interesting uh, ink uh, bottles in your collection or, or ink uh, stands, metallic ink stands in the shape of animals. I'm quite curious to see what you have in your collection. So leave uh, your, um, let's say, objects or describe them in the comment sections. I'm very, very curious. So this was the unboxing of today, my friends. I hope you've enjoyed it. Stay tuned. Because tomorrow I will have a very, very nice surprise for you. Well, my friends, I bought a lot of um, nibs, but not usual nibs, but gold nibs. So stay tuned, because tomorrow you will see a great, great unboxing. I paid a large sum of money, and I'm curious to see if I did the right choice, uh, the, if I bought uh, some interesting, interesting gold nibs. So stay tuned, my friends. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I will reveal them to you. Have a nice uh, day, wherever you are. And God bless, my dear friends. Bye-bye.